Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. On this episode of Mahjong Nosh and Such, I want to share a recipe that I think will be really good for any Mahjong event. Stuffed cherry tomatoes. A one bite appetizer. I hope it turns out. I've never had it before, so we'll find out. I have here a couple of dozen of cherry tomatoes. I have about a tablespoon of finely chopped green onion, a quarter cup of finely chopped cucumber. I have two tablespoons of dill weed, and then I have two tablespoons of mayonnaise, and we're gonna use three ounces of cream cheese. And I have here the Neufchatel, the, it's one third less fat. So it's softer and we can save on some calories. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is cut the top off of the tomato. And then I'm gonna use a melon baller. Oh, I need a smaller melon baller. That's not gonna work. Let's see if I can use this. We need to scoop out the seeds. So we're left with a cup. Okay, like that. Then we're gonna, once we scoop out the inside, we're going to turn them upside down on paper towel. So this is gonna take a little bit of time. I'll speed this up for you. I think what I'll do is cut the tops off, do the kind of a production line, cut the tops off and then scoop out the inside. get rid of these tops so we have room for scooping and I think I might try to use a teaspoon let's try a teaspoon haha -ha. that's gonna work use a teaspoon that worked good see Okay, here we go. Okay, I think I found the secret. Okay, so you there's like a cross section on here. If you take your teaspoon and kind of cut one side, turn it and cut the other side, and then just scoop. That's the ticket. So there's almost like a, it's almost like a tri-lobed. So you can see one, two, three. So just cut each of those. And that'll allow you to scoop it out really easily as opposed to just smooshing it and trying to scoop all of it out at the same time. So I think that's a better idea, definitely. So kind of dig around and then scoop to kind of release the seeds. Okay, that one is a little bit busted up. I think I'll pass on that one because you want it to be able to hold the filling so you don't want any cuts in the tomato you want to form a nice cup one more I want to get like two dozen I think 
uh, the recipe calls for two dozen. So this filling should fill two dozen. That's why I'm trying to keep count. And the other thing I was worried about with this particular recipe with these cherry tomatoes is are they going to be able to stand up on a plate? And so I thought I would test it with just the tomato as is. And if it tilted, then I might shave off just the littlest bit on the bowl side of the tomato. So let's see here. So what I was thinking is that I would just cut enough of the bottom off, just like that, so that it would stand up and not fall over. But then we got a hole. I don't think that's going to work. So I think we're going to leave it as is. It was a nice thought though. Let's get to the filling now. So I'm going to take the cream cheese, which has been sitting out at room temperature, and I'm going to cut off three cut ounces. Marks. You can see. So just cut three ounces off. And that's what we want in the filling. Three ounces or thereabouts. So three ounces would be right about here. So I'm just going to put that in there. We'll wrap that back up. Now we're going to add in the mayonnaise. Okay, now we're going to add the cucumber. the green onion, and the dill. And we'll just mix it up. So there's there the filling, very creamy, fresh. That cucumber really gives it a fresh scent, uh, smell. It smells really good. And I love the dill. And of course you have the cream cheese and the mayo. What more could you want? So now I'm going to use my baggie trick since I don't have a piping bag. So we're gonna stick that in a glass and spoon in, I think I'll use my, my spoonula. Okay, so we'll just spoon this in. Now, I'm gonna squeeze this down to the edge just like that. Kind of give it a twist. And then I'm going to snip that when we get ready to stuff the tomatoes. So I'm going to go ahead and line these up. You know what I think might help? I'm going to line this plate with some lettuce. Maybe this will give a, a little bed for these to sit on so they don't fall all over the place and it'll be pretty. And then we can just put the tomatoes on there like so. They shouldn't fall over now.
Okay, so just arrange it however you want. It doesn't have to be perfect. But you want it so that all the cups are facing upward so that you can fill them. Now let's cut this off and fill these cups. I think I'll fill just to the top to make sure that each, uh oh, that each tomato will have at least some and then I'll top it off once I'm sure that each tomato has at least to the top. Oh yeah, I think I could probably even make more. Okay, look at all that filling I have left. I don't want to fill them up too awful high. So I think I'll go ahead and cut some more. More production work, here we go. Okay, that's it. I don't have any more tomatoes. Okay, I think that's that's all I can get in. Oh, here's one. I think that's going to be as much as I can get in there. All right, we got almost all of it. They're very pretty. Okay. So, I think if these chilled for a bit, that filling might harden up a little bit, which I think would be a good thing, but I'm gonna taste one and see if this would be a good one bite snack. Let's take this little guy right here. Gotta make it look pretty. Okay, there we go. It smells really good. What do you think of that? Is that too big of a bite? It smells really fresh. That is really good. And it's a one bite. I found the one bite appetizer. It's very tasty, very fresh. The cucumber in there with the dill and of course the creamy ingredients. I don't think you can go wrong with this one. Now, this does have dairy products in it. So you probably wouldn't want it to sit out for too awful long. I don't think they would last very long though, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. Give this recipe a try. It is a keeper. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any recipes for Mahjong Nash and such at your next event. Between now and the next Mahjong Nash and such, may all your picks be keepers.